Creating the proper push away is very crucial, not only in your release, but also your timing. Creating the proper push away, you want to be able to manipulate the ball and put the ball in motion as easy as possible. You never want to push it, you never want to drop it, you want to put it in motion, very natural. It's a slight arc of the ball. When the ball is in position, you want to make sure that the ball is properly positioned near your body. You can have it a little bit further away, you can't have it against your body. As long as you, when you get the ball in motion, it's not a straight out locking your elbow type of position. You want to make sure the ball is in motion and it's a slight arc and it's going to drop down. If you do lock your elbow, what happens is your hand actually locks up also, which means everything happens too early and your timing gets thrown off. Your release will actually be a little bit uh, either tight or a little bit taut and you won't be able to get out of the ball properly. When you get the ball in motion, you're actually putting the ball in motion, creating a hinge in your elbow and it's going to be in the drop swing. What that's going to allow is a free, free swing and also it's going to allow your hand to be a little more free and relaxed so you do get out of the ball properly. When you allow for that hinge motion with the ball, the ball is going to drop in the right timing and also in the right speed on the downswing. That's going to allow you to get the right timing at the foul line and also help the balance and leverage stay all through your approach. And that's how you get the right push away. Mm -hmm.